So that was it. In terms of equality, it was really just about being respectful. And I think, you know, it is about trying to achieve a balance. It's not trying to say that we're better than men. It's not trying to say that they're better than us. We're equal, which is different in different ways. But teamwork is what makes the big difference. If we work together with people and we get rid of those biases, especially that unconscious bias about what we can do and what we can't do, that's going to make a massive difference. But always try and be polite. And we should be polite to men, they should be polite to us. If they're not polite to us, we should tell them they're not being polite to us. How you want to do that is up to you. But it is about knowing that you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. All you've got to do is set your mind to it. Now, it's really hard at your age to think 20, 30 years' time, because you think that's ancient. But I've got to 50, and, I don't, and until I look in the mirror, I don't think I'm 50. Because I can do what I want to do. I've still got my health. I go to the gym five days a week. I was nearly killed by the insanity class last night. Oof. Um, and I've got Zumba tonight. Um, but, you know, you can do whatever you want. It's not an age thing. It's a headset thing. It's where your head is. It's what you want to do. It's what's right for you at that time. But some of it is just about opening your eyes and thinking, well, what do I want to do? Now, when I started out, I had no idea that I was going to end up here. Possibly I would have got here a lot quicker if I'd have had that path through. But not everybody does. And there's no problem. It's not, you don't have to. But just have a think about where you might like to take your career. And just be aware that nobody can tell you you can't do something. You can do anything that you want to do. You can set the world alight. You can change the world if that's what you want to do. If somebody tells you you can't become chief executive of a company, go do it. Because why on earth not? You can do that if you set your mind to it. It won't be easy. And it's always hard changing stereotypes. And it's always hard to break the norm and break the mould. But you can do it. And if you do it, it's really, really rewarding. I've loved my career. And I will love it until the day I retire, which I have no intention of doing at the minute. Although there's lots of places I'd like to go and visit around the world. But, you know, and I get to do that with work. So I get to travel all the way around, as I've said, all the way around Europe. I go to America at least three times a year. Um, I go all around the country doing training. I work with fantastic people. I couldn't ask for more. I have the best job in the whole world. So when you have your career, make sure it's the best job that you have as well. Don't just have it as a job. It takes up so much of your time. You spend a lot of hours at work, probably more hours at work than you do at home. Make sure it's something that you enjoy, something that you love, and something where you're valued. So if you end up working for people who don't value, don't stay there. Go somewhere else. Go and find yourself a position where you're really valued.